This is Catherine Deverly, the answer lady, back to show you part two of crochet finishes for knitwear, the slip stitch, a basis for many of our stitches. Slip stitch begins, as most crochet stitches and most knitting stitches do, by knotting a loop into the yarn. We need it big enough to slip the crochet hook through. Now here is my bound off edge and that's what I'm going to slip stitch into. I'm going to put my hook through the bind off, just behind the bind off actually. Grab my loop and bring it up. Now I'm working in between the bound off stitches, pulling the yarn through. Insert the hook. This is called a yarn over, grabbing the yarn with the hook, what I'm doing here. Usually you use the index finger on your left hand to help you. Yarn over, pull up, and go on and pull through the existing loop. Insert, yarn over, pull through. Insert, yarn over, pull through. Insert, yarn over, and pull through. You can see my nice chain stitch forming can also see that whereas the area that's not done is still unstable and wants to roll, this area is already less roly-poly. You do not have to go every stitch. We could skip this stitch and go every other stitch like that. One, two. Of course you make bigger chain stitches and really the slip stitch is a chain stitch. You're accustomed to doing this in other ways for knitting. And here is just using a crochet hook to work it through the edge. However, if you prefer to use a latch tool, you can do that. This latch tool is one of the ones I show you how to make in my book Cool Tools. A crochet hook is sized so as to get the correct amount of yarn on it for the stitch size. It's a good estimate anyway. A latch tool is not, so you're responsible for the size of the stitch if you use a latch tool. But if you're already great with a latch tool, you'll probably do fine. And here we are at the end. Some of these I did every other, and some I did every. Here are the every other ones, and you can see they're bigger. I like to go every other stitch, especially if I'm using doubled yarn in a contrasting color. Now I would like to show you how to do this, let's pull this out, into single crochet. Because if you have already crocheted a little bit around your piece, it's single crocheted and you're almost satisfied with it, but not quite, slip stitch can fix you up. You work it the same way. Well, if I could get a hold of it, we would work it the same way. There we go. Now see how each of, under each piece of chain, there's a little hole. The perfect space to work into. And I want to get rid of my yarn tail that's trying to get into the act. And get only my working yarn. There we go. I'm doing the same thing. Working a chain. Slip stitching through the edge. So what this is going to do is give you a chain facing us and a chain on the very edge. And of course it's going to make the edge a little bit more robust and every time we add yarn we further cut down on roll and increase stability. Now most likely you've used the chain stitch to cast on whether on a machine or on knitting needles, and you may have used it to work seams. So this won't be a mystery to you. Slip stitch is nothing but chain stitch worked into the fabric. You'll be glad to use it in a lot of places.